Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft will be rolling out in the last update in 2024 for Windows 11 version 24H2. Okay, let's dive into the changes for the December 2024 update. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, first, the start menu now in the pin section apps includes support for jump list so you can access more actions for a specific application also starting with this update windows 11 expands the shift control keyboard shortcut when clicking an item from a jump list either on the start menu or on the taskbar so for example i can right click the terminal app that i have right here on the taskbar and then from the jump list now i can use the control shift keyboard shortcut and then when i click it it will prompt to run this application as an administrator now if i don't use the shortcut if i right click on it and i click command prompt you're going to see that it's not going to open as an administrator as part of the uh, december update windows 11 also is introducing the ability to show a shorter version of the time and date as you can see it right here and this is actually the new default for windows 11 however if you want to see the longer version of the time and date you can open settings and then from time and language date and time you can click this option and you need to clear this option and that will show the other version of the time and date even further the belt icon as you can see it right here that will no longer show in the system trade if the do not disturb feature is enabled now if you don't see the bell icon you can click on the time and date and that will bring up the notifications page where you will be able to see your notifications now this computer doesn't have a touch enable screen however if your computer does after you install this update when you go to the settings up more specifically to bluetooth and devices and then you open the touch page you will find this setting right here that will allow you to enable and disable the left and right screen edge touch gestures and that is a new addition to the december 2024 update now if we go to the mouse settings you will now be able to control the scrolling direction with this option right here before you were able to do this but you needed to edit the registry in addition on this page after installing the update you're going to find the option to enable and disable enhanced pointer precision before this option was only available through control panel now if we go to dynamic lighting settings now the system will show a placeholder as you can see right here letting you know the system didn't detect any compatible device also in the past you were still able to control all the settings even though they will not do anything but now with this change for example brightness and effects won't be available because you don't have any compatible device connected to the computer now as part of the uh, task manager changes if we go to the performance tab now for disks the system will be able to let you know the type of drive installed on the computer for example nvme sata and so on and so forth also and finally on the users tab when you use the disconnect or log off options that dialog that will that appears on the screen will now support dark mode and the text scaling already configured on your computer this update also introduces an updated version of file explorer which includes a new entry on the context menu for files and folders that allows you to share a specific content directly into your android phone and that option is called send to my phone but the option will only appear after the feature has been enabled on your computer and you have connected your android phone using the manage devices experience and that's it. Those are the most significant changes and features coming in the next update for Windows 11. As always, this update also includes security and maintenance patches. And finally, it's important to know that as always, Microsoft rolls out features slowly, so it might take some time for all of these features to reach every compatible computer. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Also like the video, share it, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.